desires for our lives. We all have dreams. And sometimes I've kind of heard us talk about, you know, I just want what God wants. I, I, I you know, I, who cares what I want? It's just all about, it's not about me. It's about what God wants. And um, I would say it's always worth admitting what you want, admitting what your desires are, and having uh, open conversation with God about that. That seems a lot healthier and a lot more like uh, surrender and a lot more like faith than squishing your will down and saying, oh, no, no, it's not about me. It's not about what I want. I only want his will. Well, his will is for a friendship with you and his will is for a heart-to-heart connection with you. And so what we what we really want to be doing is not having no desires of our own and just his will, but rather what we want is to have the kind of relationship where we have open hands um, with our heart's desires and dreams to the Father. And we can discuss them and he can say no and he can say, well, not now. So we can talk about them openly with God, our desires, openly with God, and he can say if and when to pursue those things. Uh, I have a lot more to say about this, but it seems to me that all sorts of fear of failure or distrust of the Lord or distrust of the self are involved in saying, I don't, I don't have any desires, it's just, I just want his will. Well, we, we're born again, of course we want his will. But because he's a good dad, he wants our desires involved. And oftentimes he'll say that the desires of our heart are good and he wants to bless them. Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes there are things that need to be repented of, surrendered, or changed, or it's a timing and a patience thing. But at all times, the kind of open-hearted relationship with him that brings those desires out and let's 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 talk about them is critical. Let's sh- let me show you where I'm at. It's just just crazy stunning here.